Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we got a service call that this unit is not properly cooling. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. So here we have our own special walkway to the unit. I can hear something running. Our three condenser fan motors are running. And only one of two compressors are operating right off the bat. It's a beautiful day out here in Manhattan and that is a beautiful view. So here's our unit. It's about 81 degrees today, give or take. One compressor running. We have about a 10, 11 degree TD. So we got 70 degrees supply air temperature and this is not air conditioning. Suction line is warm. This is the R22 system. And we have a back pressure of 35 pounds, 30 pounds over a 200 head pressure with that kind of back pressure we are 100% low on refrigerant and we also have a second compressor which is not operating so we have two separate circuits here this one is completely out of refrigerant for this damper we have air fresh air coming in just want to take a quick look at these filters they're really not so bad but you know this is not the right size here somebody just cut it when I go on a service call before really making any calls I really do like to check the condition of the system to check the filters see if there's any belts if they are any and really see what's going on but 100% we have a leak in circuit number one and we have a leak in circuit number two one is running on low pressure which is probably going to cut off any minute now or <laughs> any day now and the other one is completely out of gas so we have a refrigerant leak all right so i shut the system down just pressurized that empty circuit with some nitrogen there was a quote that was cheaper to replace that txv I already know that's the first place I'm going to be looking at. Yep, just as I suspected. Hmm. So, every time you want to save money. Just keep in mind, people charge a certain price for a reason. All right, that was a huge leak. I'm just gonna dump the nitrogen. That's how you clean up. That's how you clean out your pants. All right, so I'm just gonna clean up this area, sand it down a bit. Just quick, do a quick patch. Just like a hole in there, which is terrible and. That, that's all we're really gonna do here typically you really should change the filter dryer i don't have one this really is an emergency just for the hallway people are really complaining and it's getting late already we're getting close to overtime hours uh, you know <laughs> of course they don't want to pay for that either i mean that's kind of why they got somebody else to do this job for cheaper and you know that's kind of just what happens when you try to save money you end up spending more in the in the end so we're gonna focus on one circuit and get that up and running uh, see what he wants to do I let him know that his system the other circuit is running low on pressure and you really shouldn't run that because you're really putting a lot of stress on your compressor but you know uh, it's their unit and I just have to follow their rules so we're gonna get one circuit up and running 
I'm gonna advise him to leave the other one off for now so at least you have one compressor running efficiently and we'll see what happens but today we're just gonna focus on one circuit we're gonna patch this up pull a good vacuum and start them back up all right so we released all our nitrogen we're gonna leave this open so while we're brazing we're venting and it's gonna be just a quick patch then we're gonna fill it up with nitric again double check our work and pull a good vacuum and that probably should be the only leak this system has been around for so long it's a very old system and they really, it really doesn't have a history of leaks until the other company came and replaced that component so we're gonna see uh, we're gonna pull that vacuum make sure that holds and get this bad boy up and running okay we're gonna start by sending down this area all right so i got it sanded down and we got a wet rag around the valve and below <laughs> let's not make this any worse than it is So we're gonna pressurize our circuit once again. We're gonna check our work and then throw this thing in a vacuum. Hopefully that's really the only leak. All right, just pay some leak check. We pressurized again. I really buried this thing. Yeah, we're good to go with that. Hopefully that's the only leak in here. All right, we're dumping the nitrogen and we're gonna put this thing in a vacuum. So we're pulling a vacuum and we're going to see if this holds, then we're going to put the refrigerant in the system and start this thing up and yeah that was pretty much it. I would like to put a micron gauge on this system to really see if we get all that moisture out but yeah that was the service call, got a leak. If anybody found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you all next time.